the subject is Vajrayogini. Vajrayogini is a principal female deity of the Chakrasamvara cycle of Tantras. And there are many, many different uh, Tantras of, uh, concerning Chakrasamvara and Vajrayogini. Uh, there are also many forms of the deity Vajrayogini. Uh, some names are descriptive, uh, such as Krodakali, meaning the Black Wrathful One. Um, others refer to the lineage or the principal Indian Mahasiddha associated with a particular practice of Vajrayogini. The most common forms found in art are probably the Naropa uh, form of, uh, of Vajrayogini, and, and this can, the Naropa form actually can mean several things. We, we have two main uh, uh, iconographic uh, presentations for Vajrayogini according to the Naropa tradition. Uh, the first is Vajrayogini of Naropa as she stands with the two legs down, the, the head turned to the left side, and she looks upward with the upraised left hand holding a skull cup uh, as if drinking from the skull cup. Uh, this one is very common in the, in the Sakya, Jonang, uh, Shangpa Kagyu, and, and more commonly these days in the, in the last few hundred years in the Drukpa Kagyu tradition. Then we have the Vajra Varahi form of Vajrayogini, and here the, the added Varahi means uh, pig or sow, uh, and meaning a face. So there's a face either placed on the right side of the face of Vajrayogini or on the top of the head of Vajrayogini. And uh, this form of the, of the deity stands facing forward on standing on the left leg with the right leg slightly drawn up in a dance posture. Uh, this form is very popular with the Karma Kagyu and a number of other Kagyu traditions. Uh, and and a, a similar form to this is also found in Nyingma as the Dechen Gyalmo. Uh, which is a terma, which is a, um, a revealed treasure form of the deity. So we, we have these two main uh, forms, the, the, the uh, Narokachod with the two legs down, the, the, the Vajrayogini of Naropa, and then the one with the one leg down holding a curved knife up with the right hand and a skull cup to the heart. Now, this is generally what we find in art. Uh, as the main uh, figures, but there are many, many other forms. Some forms have three faces and six arms. Some forms uh, have a boar's head rather than a, a human looking face. Uh, so there's many different kinds of Vajrayogini. And then if you extrapolate into the mandala, uh, how many retinue figures they have surrounding them, then we're, we're clearly into the 20s, the 40s, the 50 different uh, types of Vajrayogini that can be found in Tantric Buddhism. They can also be other colors besides red and black. They can be yellow, they can be green. So the Vajrayogini um, cycle of practices and coming out of the various Chakrasamvara Tantras is really vast. It's really extensive. And, and very few people will ever study all of these. You, you actually only learn about them from the particular lineage or tradition that you follow, and then they may only have one, two, or three forms of Vajrayogini that they actually stress or actually uh, put into practice.